Hello everybody! Welcome back to Diane's Diamond Painting Journey. I hope you all had a great holiday season and Happy New Year to everybody. This is the filming of my first video for 2024. Holy moly. I want to say that I really appreciate all my subscribers. Love you all the bits. And if you're new here today, well, hello. This is the first time you're seeing one of my videos. I do diamond painting stuff. Unboxings, budget-friendly, legally licensed, uh, prod, uh, prod, blah, 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 post reviews, whipping chats, etc., etc. All things diamond painting for the most part. So today, I have a package from Seven Great. They're actually a cross stitch company. And so I'm going to show you some things that they sent me to show on the ch my channel. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh, this let's start with the smallest one first, eh? Yeah. So this is a bookmark. It is 5.4 wide by 18.8 .8 centimeters tall. There you go. That's actually the grid for the pattern. It's 14 count. And this here, by the look of it, it uses just the cross stitch, which they call a whole stitch. All right. And here we have the colors and we have the DMC numbers. This is where DMC numbers originally came from for, uh, for diamond painting. They followed the same uh, color codes as, uh, mainly, followed the same color codes as uh, cross stitch companies. There you go, something new today. Yep. Now, I used to cross stitch a lot one time. I think I'm going to actually try to do this one. So, what do we have? Yay. We have two needles in a bag. I like that they put them in the bag. Because some don't, you know. Yeah, it's really disturbing. So we have a little tassel to put on the bottom. We have our two pieces of canvas. So now this is what's called a counted cross stitch. There's no pattern on it. So from so from here, like in here, we'll count. Okay, so we'll count up. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen to this. Let's go a little bit closer. There's sixteen up to this number one. So if you want to start from the bottom, you count sixteen blocks up. It looks like the outline is going to be all fives. And you'll count across, I'm assuming there's 10. Let me count that now. Oh, okay. For those that don't know, I have bad eyesight. So now i got to look up, add it up close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so the grid, the grid is 10 by 10. Yeah. So we got 30 across, it looks like. And then you just count to where, once you count and put your first stitch in, then you can use that as a guide for everything else. Where you start is totally, totally up to you, all right? Now, I don't know. I think we only, we, we only do the books. We don't do all of it. So when you finish a product, though, when you sew them together, Like you'll sew this little bit down here inside. All right. Let me see now. Let's go back out a little bit. And all of your colors come on a card. Let me see the end. Where's the end? Uh, okay. I'll show you that too now. What I like about 
And now I'm just going to untangle anything that might be tangled, which is not really, which is wonderful. So here they're numbered one to seven. They're also numbered one to seven here. So you'll know number one is 310, number two is 317, three is 318, four is 436, five is 498, six is 815, and seven is 3774. So it's important to know what kind of canvas you got, like 14 count, 30, uh, 11 count, because 14 count uses two strands to stitch. Let me see now. No, yeah, you don't do the background. So what they mean by that? Now, I'm explaining you all this in the first one, so then we won't have to uh, do it so much in the other ones. Let's zoom in again. So here we have number seven. And as you can see, we have, they're doubled up. So we have one, two, three, four. We have four big, great big long strands of floss. All right. So what they mean by two strands, they're not going to say, you're, you're not going to take two full strands of this. No. Let me just pull this apart for you. Dooby dooby doo. This is why I don't mind actually showing um, cross-stitch on the channel because, no, I'm not a professional cross-stitcher, but I have done enough to be able to explain it in my lifetime. Hang on a minute. I am trying to get these to cooperate with me. So, let's see. Come on. Be nice. Anyway, so you see now that I've pulled apart that one thread. So you see up right here, there's two strands. You'll take the whole bundle off of the card, take this one particular strand of floss, and you will take two threads out of it. And that's what they mean by two threads. Some, I think 11 count, you'll do by three stra strands. Probably anything higher, because 11 count is a bigger, uh, see the weave on that, okay? So 11 count, the square, the square will be actually a little bit bigger. And this one is, uh, so you'll use three, but this one's 14 count, so you'll use two. And I would think anything higher than that, you'll use just one strand of thread. So they don't mean the whole thing. They mean to pick it apart because there's six strands in a thread. Ha <laughs> ha, floss! Does that make any sense to anybody? I hope so. So we have our bookmark. And then what you'll do afterwards... I would assume there's enough here to do two sides because inside is, I'm not a neat cross stitcher. Okay, I don't care what it looks like on the back. Uh, most do, but I don't. And then if you do it both ways, then you'll sew it up and it will be stiffer with the pattern on it. So you'll do it twice and then you'll sew up the edges, including your little tassel on the bottom. That's a pretty tassel. And then you have your bookmark. All right. So let's put that in there. And this is your pattern to follow. What I used to do, if you have some way of getting, um, even if you went to your library, as long, and it doesn't have to be a colored pattern if you don't want to, because each one of these blocks is numbered one to seven. A cross stitch, to make a cross stitch. Say if this is, okay, say if you had a big row. Okay, on the edge it says number five. So this is your one square. You come up, you go down. 
Now, what you would do if you have two or three in, in, in line, then you would go come up and you would go down. You would come up and you'll go down. So then the, when you're coming back, you come up, you go down and you make your square. You come up, you go down in the same hole that you used before. Oh, that makes a little bit of sense. But I am quite certain that there are lots of tutorials on YouTube. And if I do get some time sooner than later to uh, do this one, even to start it, I will uh, try to do a little tutorial because, I mean, this one is really basic. Which is why I wanted to get it, because I myself have not done many cross stitches lately. So, oh, and that one is $5.52 American. So now we have this uh, cross stitch. Isn't that cute? You can see that I put the order in before Christmas or just after Christmas or whatever, don't make any difference. So it's called the button Christmas tree because it's got like little buttons all over it. I think that's so cute. And it comes in this nice resealable plasticish. I don't know what kind of plastic it is, but it's, the plastic even feels soft. And everything you need is in the bag. And on the back, like I was telling you now, they'll say how did this is the only difference is on this one. How to choose a strand. Look. See, that's what I was showing you. It can be divided in six strands. 11 count uses three, which this is 11 count. 14 uses two. And then you, it tells you how to choose what thread you need for what. Unprinted crop. No, we're doing printed on this one. Same thing I was telling you how to stitch, how to stitch. And here it tells you that the last one is just a whole stitch. This is a half, so you just you're not gonna come back. Quarter stitches, they look funny, but they actually go down in the middle of the square. Three quarter stitch, continuing stitch is what I was showing you about. You go you go over, 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 then you come back. And it just makes the line look neater. Right? And so it'll tell you how to do all your uh, stitching. And when you cast off, you some people cast off on the front, <clears throat> but I cast off on the back. So basically you have your stitches on the back and you just run your, put your needle underneath and run it through. And it tells you uh, cleaning, maintenance, and all that stuff, which is wonderful. So here we have our, oops. Let's make it bigger. Here's our pattern. Oh, this is not stamped either. Woohoo! Okay, so like I told you before, <clears throat> you just count to where you want to start. A lot of people will start right in the middle. That's what I used to do. So again, we have we had the grid lines. See? So it'll help you count. See, 10, 20, 60, I guess that's 70. And up here is 50 across with three more extra blocks. And down here is one, two, three, four, five, seven. So 67 down and 53 across of actual stitching blocks. Now your, your, your piece of material could be bigger than that. So that's why a lot of people start in the middle. And then you got extra, whatever extra you got left on the edge. You can use that when you frame it. And what I like about this too, is look how this zoom in. See, they've actually uh, st stitched the, the, the sides so it won't revel on you. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So again, just like the last one, 
If you get a photocopier and blow this up in color, it'd be perfect. If not color, why not? You still have all your uh, symbols. And down here, it tells you again, like it did on the last one. One is 310, two is 36, uh, 367. Okay, and this whole row of colors are full stitches. So that is that cross, that X. And then back stitch. Okay. You see these lines, these full lines? All the with line. That's what they call back stitch. And that's just to bring a bit of definition to the picture and, and, and around the, the buttons. And down here, they show you three different colors of backstitch. And what's this one here? Oh, number one is a French knot. See the number ones? You have to make some French knots. But it shows you how to do that. And, uh, oh, back of the bag, yeah. And you know what? You can just practice on, uh, on like the total outside rim of the of the canvas. So once again, they have separate. I, I used to most of the ones I used to do home drove me crazy because uh, you had to separate the colors. And you might have five different colors of green. Like there's three different, there's four different colors of green in this. So like, how do you really know which one's which? Uh, so they've attached our sewing needles right here in a baggie. Yay. And we have our numbers. Let me zoom in a little bit. So they can read better. We have our numbers in the colored. Right now. Okay, so this number is a little bit faded, but you can mark on it. This is four and this is five because we're going in order, certainly. There you go. There's all our numbers. So again, you match them up to... See, your DMC number really doesn't count uh, matter if you have a pattern like this because you're following numbers just like you would on a diamond painting. Only instead of stones... You're using thread. Let me do this. Because I don't know if any of you bought the advent cal uh, calendar from Diamond, Diamond Painting UK or Diamond Painting Art UK. It was a blank canvas and you had to do the sections. Well, that was doing a, that was doing a cross stitch. Oh, like, uh, but without thread. So our Christmas tree was $3.79. And now we have, look, we got Happy Holiday Penguins. Oh, da, da, da. <laughs> this says 32 by 23 centimeters. And it's 11 count. So we're going to use what? Two strands of thread. And that's why I like these uh, these packages so much. Because again, you got all the same information on the back. Telling you how you do your... And even though they show you all these different stitches, that doesn't mean they're in your kit. How to clean them. I'm actually happy again that... See, this one is... Much bigger than our last piece. But that's still in the realm of things. It's not a big piece. And I love how they've bond off the sides. I really do. So we got two 11s. The big ones are 11s, which means the holes are bigger. And we're going to use what? Three strands of, of thread. Three strands off of each piece, right? Right. So we got our... There we go. Now this is nice. This is a really nice heavy plastic. So again, this is really nice to read here. See, so it says full stitch. So that's the X. 
Full stitch means an X. French knot. Oh, we got two symbols of French knots. Oh, they're on the back. We'll see that afterwards. And back stitch again, outlines. Like, you know, if you've done a Mandy Manzano, all that black outlining. Same thing. You're doing black, you're doing black, blue, and yellow, uh, white. I mean, 666. Black, red, and white outlining. All right? And all these are just X's, and these are French knots. So, three and six. On the back, we have a really nice pattern. And again, we're not doing this here. We're just doing whatever is called for. Okay, look up here. Three and six, those are French knots. Now, I will tell you, the first time I ever tried French knots, they didn't work out so well, but you keep trying. And you know what? If you can't do the French knot, it just won't work for you. Leave it off. But it's like little holly berries. But now the most important thing to do with this is to start in the middle. you got to find the middle. Whether you just put one stitch there in that middle, wherever your middle is to. Because you don't... <sighs> you sort of want to have an even border left on your cloth when you're finished. Like, so say, if there's this much supposed to be all the way around, you want that left all the way around, so if you want to frame it. But then, you know, it's really up to yourself. If you if you do want to start, like, up right here, just make sure you got enough squares to do all you need to do. So, there's our pattern. That's a nice pattern. That's a... It's not even laminated, but I don't know what kind of... It's plasticky. And again, what I used to do, I used to do probably at a size like this, I'd go, I'd fold it in half or I'd photocopy it, blow it up. And then with my marker, my uh, highlighter, I would highlight whatever I've got done. And I can't honestly say what I would do on this first. No, I'd have to start in the middle, I think. And again, like I said, we have our beautiful strands of color. A lot of white because of the penguins. Here's our two needles. And again, we go by the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all you gotta worry about is these numbers here. Because that is what is on this. So our French knots are gonna be three. This color will be beautiful. And this nice gold, like a golden rod. And this one is four dollars and 22 cents. Our bookmarks seem to be the most expensive thing today. Different companies too, right? I mean, they bought our product from all different kinds of companies. So there you go. No, now we won't have a finish for, uh, for the end of the video like I usually do. But it's the nature of the beast of this because it's just some more time-consuming projects like these projects can take longer than any diamond painting but now on the website i had a look and uh anything uh you sh free shipping uh over f if you spend 49 dollars and they also paid a vet which means like me in belgium they all paid the customs fees they they drop ship them i do have a code it will be down below uh so you can save six percent off your order and it looks like they still have, they're still, right now they're still running a, a Christmas sale. And uh, there's one there, buy four, get one free, and there's a code 100%, 100 off. And uh, so you just put all five things in your uh, cart, and when you check out, it will give you one free if you use that code. So that's a pretty good deal too. So I want to thank Great 7 for sending me out these beautiful little projects for uh, to, sh to show you all. And I hope that if you, uh, a lot of diamond painters do cross-stitch because it's just a different way of doing the same thing. One uses thread and one uses um, diamonds, drills. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I hope everybody's doing wonderful. And if you didn't understand what I said, well, just 
leave me a comment and ask me. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button on the way out, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like what you saw, well, you can do that too. And hit that the bell, so you, hit the all bell, so you'll be notified when I upload a video. All right, one thing, one last thing. Oh, here's your big squishy hug. And loves you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye.